Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube video series on creating and setting up my metadata driven processing framework for Data Factory from scratch in your own environment. So in this first part we're going to start really simple getting hold of the source code and getting it in Visual Studio and seeing what we have available. So I'm on my desktop and firstly I'm just going to go to a browser window and I'm going to go to the URL ADF for Azure Data Factory, PO, PROC for Processing and FWK for Framework.com. So ADF, PROC, FWK.com. This is a domain that will then just redirect you to my GitHub repository for the Data Factory Processing Framework. And all we can do once we land on this GitHub page is for ease, just go to the green button on the right hand side, clone or download the repository. And I'm just going to download as a zip file. So once that file has come down, I'm just going to open it. And then within the zip file, I'm just going to take a copy of the file that's there and then drop back to my desktop and just paste the content from that zip file. So it's effectively unzipped. Within this folder, what I'm then going to do is open the Visual Studio solution file. Now this solution file was created using Visual Studio 2019. So if you don't have that installed, then I recommend that you do. So it's got all the, the latest projects and things that you need for it. Yes, I am a trustworthy source, but uh, you know, if you don't trust me, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine as well. So once we've loaded Visual Studio, you'll see that in the Solution Explorer, we've got three projects. One to give us some support for deploying various things. We've got an Azure Functions project and we've got a SQL Server Data Tools project as well for the database. Um, also in the solution, there's a whole bunch of other files as well. These have just been added to the solution as logical files for, for ease. Um, and things to look at. So maybe a, a handy one might be if you wanted to look at the readme file that's in the repository as well. Lots of links and, and other content and details about the latest releases of the framework. You might want to have a look in there. But for now, really the, the scope of this first part of the video, we're, we're pretty much done. We've got everything we need. We have our project in Visual Studio. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you.